So when it comes to working with Docker and building images from within a Docker context, you do have a, a number of different options. One very popular plugin for a long time was the Fabric 8 Maven plugin. You can see here that uh, I have that on the screen and it's uh, been deprecated. And that just happened about six months ago. So I'm recording in uh, May of 2021. So th this is a fairly recent change at the time of recording that this was a uh, deprecated. Fabricate was a, a really cool project, but that project uh, is, is no more. And so that plugin has been deprecated. It's been picked up by, uh, by Eclipse, and it, it is now called JCube. So JCube is a, a very, very robust plugin. It was uh, basically a branch of the Fabricate Maven plugin. This is where all the active development is happening. JCube uh, works with not only Docker, but Kubernetes and OpenShift. It has a lot of very robust features. And I'm going to not use this one right now. Everything is very, very similar, but I'm going to be using a different Fabricate plugin called the Docker Maven plugin. And uh, there's very easy to get confused as to which uh, fabricate maven plugin we're talking about the docker maven plugin this at the time of recording is still active it's still in the fabric 8 repository you can see here fabric 8 io docker maven plugin we're still getting commits there was just a, a release done uh just a month or so ago uh so on april 4th this is still active the core difference is this is a, a lighter a uh, simpler plugin, and it only works with Docker. So uh, only uh, utilizes Docker. And you can see here, we do have a number of options here. We can start, stop, build images. And you can see a, a number of things here. We can even watch uh, for changes and automatically rebuild them. So th there's a, a lot that we can do here. If you needed to run integration tests, bring up a container uh, for an integration test, uh, you could utilize this plugin. We are not going to be covering uh, all the features here. We're primarily going to be looking at uh, two pieces of this uh, to build images. We want to be able to automate our build process using Maven and then push those images up to Docker. But I did want to take a moment to uh, talk about this plugin, the capabilities of it. It does give you very nice integration between Maven and docker so we are interested in building docker images and what i'm going to do now is uh, i'm going to toggle over to intellij and show you how to start configuring this plugin for use in in our project so let me jump over to intellij and the first thing we want to do is come in and uh, configure the plugin so i'm going to put it in right here so we want to do plugin group id this is going to be io Fabric 8, and it brought in the wrong one. So we actually want the Docker Maven plugin. And I'm going to go with 0341. I think that is the current release. Let me double check that. I'm going to toggle over to Chrome real quick. It's actually 35, so we'll update this to 35. We we'll get the very latest there you can see that is uh, red because i do not have that locally so uh, when i do a, a build action this will be brought in so i go ahead and i'm going to click on refresh to tell intellij and you can see that we're downloading that now i want to add in some configuration for this the first thing we can do is we can do uh, verbose this will give us some additional uh, information out to the council. Nice to see what's happening. And we can build uh, one or more images. So there, there's a lot of, lot of things that you can do with this. We are going to use a Docker file build. You can actually use XML in the POM to declare uh, your build. Here we are going to, uh, I think it's simplest to use the, the Docker file, especially since we have a, a multi-stage Docker file here. We want that capabilities preserved. So we will go ahead and do that. And I'm going to say images, and then image. And we'll give this a name. I think we're calling it KB REST, if I remember right. Now we need to declare a build element. And this is how we are actually going to be building our image. And what we need to do here is declare an assembly. And this works a lot like the uh, Maven assembly plugin at least according to the documentation. 
And we're adding in this line because what we want to do is it's going to be copying files around and we'll take a look at that closer in the build process. So we're saying uh, descriptor ref artifact. And by default, remember we uh, set up the source main Docker, Docker file. By default, it's going to be looking in that. So we are going to say Docker file. And if I wanted to use a different file name, I could declare it like this, but I don't need to. And then we can also do a tag of our image. So let's do tags. We can do multiple tags. Here we'll just declare one for the time being. Call that latest. Now, one very important thing that we do need to change in our Docker file, this is going to be copying files around. And what we want to do is come to our Docker file, and rather than target, we want to tell it Maven. So now uh, Fabricate, the Fabricate uh, Maven plugin is going to be running the build. It's going to be running in that context, and the plugin is going to copy files, and we'll take a, a quick look at that. So come back over here. All that looks correct. I'm going to do a refresh here, make sure that we can see that. I'm going to uh, disable our tests for right now, and we'll go ahead and do a clean. That deletes the target directory. We'll do a package. Let me resize some of these. You can see that our target directory is back. And typical build, this is the jar that we want to be including. So now I'm going to come over here under plugins. We can see Docker. And if I was running this from the command line, it'd be simply Maven Docker build. So I'm going to do the uh, Docker build. And the way this is working, I'm doing it in sequence. If we were running from a command line and we didn't have the target directory created, we'd have to do uh, Maven package Docker colon build. So, but right now we've already done the package step. I'm going to go ahead and run the build step. You can see that the build did go and complete successfully. And let's take a closer look here. So now we see under target, we have a Docker, KB Rust, the name of our name of our image. And then you can see here under build Maven, and that, that's why we had to set that there. So here we're running in this context, so now we need to tell it's going to be running in the context of the build folder. And that's where the, the Docker builder is going to be executing from, so that's why we need to change that uh, Maven because now our Docker file is now building from that location, so very important. So just to recap what we covered in this video, this is the, specifically the Fabricate Docker Maven plugin that we added, and IntelliJ hasn't picked that up yet, but... I'll go ahead and uh, correct that between the videos. And here the configuration. I did add in verbose to give us a little more uh, chatter in the log so we can see the build steps happening. Otherwise, without the verbose, uh, we wouldn't see the image being built like that. Uh, we are giving the image a name of KBE Rust. Uh, basically, this assembly structure here, it tells the plugin to copy this uh, Maven artifact over. So it says, hey, copy that into the uh, build directory for us. We are specifying the Docker file to use. And by default, the plugin is going to be looking at source main Docker. And we're just saying the Docker file there. And we are applying one tag to the image that we're building of latest. And that, that will uh, get tagged. You can see right here in the uh, log output tag with latest. And if we wanted to specify multiple tags, we could do also do so here.